so i will be starting agenda like first i will be covering course content what we are covering then i will be sharing your career path and what is load balancer and then we'll talk about product lines there are different product and why you should go with product like f5 and palo alto when we have different technologies why they are more demanding plus after this course we give a guarantee that you can crack 100% interview related to f5 and palo alto training and what are the things so first i will go with that so guys this total combo course would be around 60 hours we'll be covering this course you will get facilities like live batch plus you will be getting recorded videos after each class plus you will be getting lifetime interview support let's say you have see lifetime interview means let's say you have done the class from us and you have to show us that you have an interview then you have to complete all the trainings from us then only we can help you like what type of questions can be asked in an interview and this is a weekend training it will start from 9 am to 11 30 am ist you will get recorded videos lab setup on your laptops either it will be vimware for f5 i will be doing more the lab in vimware palo alto he will be covering on evng also we have google cloud but best is to make your lab on your laptop that is best recommended we do nowadays because we are it people it is better to have a good laptop with good configuration because it will really help you to grow when you have your personal laptop this training will be totally in english and every training either it's palo alto or f5 it will contain your theory part plus practical plus q and a like after each topic or after each session you have q and a session also where you can ask your current topics doubts after that guys we have doubt sessions also available you will will make a separate whatsapp group and i am available between 7 to 8 pm ist on monday to friday for any doubts you can directly reach out to me and hemu is available 9 to 10 pm ist monday to friday this is an extra facility we are not charging anything but make sure that you call on this number rather than whatsapp and you will be getting certificate of completion of training after this so this was all about what is the think facilities which we are giving and we focus that is that you should be 100% comfortable with our batch and we give 100% guarantee that you can crack any interview you can check our feedback on our website youtube channel you can check our quality second thing guys what the extra facility which we give is extra doubt session which no one gives so let's say you missed the class and you forgot to watch the video if you have questions later on you can reach out to us second thing guys nowadays people are changing profiles different technologies are coming that's why we have a separate whatsapp group where we have different people from different organization who can help you in getting job prefer see job prefer means not like that we give 100% job to you but technologies wise we can give you like whatever interview give you give related to palo alto net 5 you can crack that is 100% feasible now let me tell you about load balancer guys first of all i will be making you easy to understand this you understand this term many people have confusion like what is ltm what is dns what is asm and what is apm so initially guys when we talk about f5 load balancer f5 load balancer is a company which was developed in 1997 and it has product called big ip and in big ip one of the first product which they introduced was ltm that is called local 
ट्राफिक मैनेजर why it is huge in demand is guys due to company stability if you see every company nowadays either required f5 ltm in network plus polo alto plus 40 git even you are going into cloud still they are deploying f5 technologies in cloud and why load balancer is required is because you have a website behind f5 right you have a website which will be published let's say we have a website called cnnets.com the load of this website cannot be managed by one server so to distribute load we require a load balancer either it's a cloud load balancer or f5 so that is why it is mandatory nowadays to learn a technology which gives you a feature called load balancing technologies and the first product which has been introduced is ltm which is called a load balancer technology and you can deploy this load balancer either on virtual edition or hardware level or you can deploy in hybrid like physically plus cloud network both and it has a framework because it works on linux platform guys so it makes more feasible if you have got linux knowledge and make it makes you more easy and the operating system guys which it uses is traffic management operating system like in juniper or palo alto we have pan os in f5 the operating system which has been used is tmos and the major major advantage of f5 load balancer is guys f5 gives you 30 days free license you can test any features without buying an f5 device so you just need to spin up your vmware okay and just you have an image which you need to download plus you get a license and that is our duty to make your lab successful in your laptop so that is the major feature why f5 is growing whatever feature you want to test in production environment that will be fully available in your license feature so you don't need to worry on that part you can check it you can grab it that is why it is in huge demand nowadays now if i come across a technology please try to understand carefully there is a term see nowadays company guys people ask two questions to me if you are an experienced person guys then there is no difficult to crack interview but let's say i get a question that i am a fresher can i do this course and get a job definitely but for you the first technology to learn nowadays is ccna after that learn basics of security and then you start with f5 so that is how we are doing palo alto and f5 together and the cost fees is 12000 which is very nominal if you check our industry price and why it is a mixture of profiles guys fresher on an experience we make it same it's not like that we are covering experience course of fresher so that is why we have given this course a name to basics to advance so that we will try to cup up we have tried to cover in such a way that you can tell in companies when you give an interview guys see for me also let's say i'm new to palo alto or i'm new to f5 first question what sir they can ask me even i have run a theory i have done vidit sir course i have done completed f5 but i am not comfortable in cracking interview that is where my duty comes when a practical knowledge if you have for any product even you have lab then you can tell them guys and we i will prepare in such a way that you can cover theory part plus practical and you can crack interview because the questions will be based on production experience live experience they will directly ask hey vidit are you working on f5 that is the first question they will ask okay can you tell me the model numbers which you have worked on see first question if i go to any company interview 
they will wanted to test whether i am telling lie or not first question i will ask is what is the model number you have worked trust me guys you just open up your ears for next half an hour and it can change your life the way i know because i have been working in this industry from last 14 years now and i know what are the challenges been faced in company nowadays even people are facing issues in cracking interview see everyone is learning cloud everyone is learning cyber security but where, where the challenge comes is they don't know the career path that is where next thing which we help because when you go to any interview guys they will not ask you what is f5 they will ask you hey vidit can you just tell me five modules where you have worked and can you tell me like which features you have used in f5 for that you have free license you can spin up just you need to go to vimware and you can just open one of the f5 lab responsibility is mine you need to know you see from my perspective i will be covering training where i will be covering design part plus i will be covering implementation part plus i will be covering operations part even i will try to cover something on solution architect sales part i cannot cover but if you understand the product then it's not difficult if you understand from beginning even a basic questions if i ask someone they will not understand now can someone tell me one question i have let's say i have access this website this website i need to host behind load balancer what is the first thing when user tries to open in its browser this website what is the first thing it will happen when user opens a website in his browser what is the first thing happens that is called dns resolution traffic was directly going so when f5 comes into picture guys this is how the traffic flows client will hit on f5 then there will be servers so servers are nothing but they are application servers they are web servers original application will be hosted on this servers you just need to make sure that original application when i access cnets.com for you you are opening a web page but for me as an admin i need to publish this website on server and when f5 comes into picture f5 will work as a man in middle this client will never come to know on which server my request is going because it will get load balance between multiple servers that is what a load balancer is that is where we need to understand the capability when you learn some technology you need to understand why it is required why palo alto is required can anyone tell me why f5 came into picture why people wants to learn cloud nowadays why it is necessary to learn cyber security courses nowadays i can learn palo alto and get a job yes you can get a job but if someone has good knowledge on f5 plus palo alto they will refer more plus if he has good knowledge on cloud he will get a easier nowadays guys even you are going into cloud environment they will not they will ask you about how you deploy f5 in cloud if you answer that basic concepts are clear http protocol i will give an example or a tcp protocol whether it's cloud or hardware both are same only thing is when you deploy any machine in cloud what are the requirements you need to take care why people require automation so that you can just get a repeated task going on so that no one comes in and tell you anything related to that hey i need to automate so that is where automation comes into picture now next thing guys 
if I don't have a load balancer or if I have a load balancer and first picture and second picture, there is a difference when I don't have a load balancer. This is client. Let's say this is a router. Let's say this is a firewall and this is an application server where my original application is hosted. Now, can I, can anyone tell me disadvantage of picture one? If someone tell me, I will give you a free course of my interview for today. So anyone who can tell me in this picture representation, what is the disadvantage? Why I need to require load balancer? Why the hell load balancer is coming into picture guys? So load balancer in this picture, first thing is if this server goes down, what will happen? Your application will get down. Customer will come to me with it, sir. I heard that you provide 24 into seven availability, but there is no availability. I have given you the cost so that you can tell me that I have 24 into seven availability. But right now I faced an outage. Why guys? Because you have single server. Second issue guys, even this single server is up. Can I face CP utilization? Can I face memory utilization? See, when you implement any technology, it is not that you should learn in one month. You need to understand the concept. You need to tell Vidit ji, can you tell me load balancer ki requirement kya hai? Why I should deploy load balancer when I have firewall? Can firewall can have load balancer ke technology? Can firewall has a capability to load balance some of the request on this server, some of the request to this server? No. That is why in market you have load balancer product separate. Firewall product separate, DDoS separate, so that it follows hybrid technology. That is why there is a demand of hybrid technology, so that you should learn all the technologies on the fly. And that is where we will start this combo batch. Now, next question is the first advantage is no redundancy. I cannot promise to customer. Customer has banking website. He says that I need HDFC.com 24 into 7. If it is not 24 into 7, I cannot help you. Second, I don't want any slowness issues. Guys, why there will be slowness issue if we have only one server? Let's say right now we have traffic coming from internet. Now all the requests, this server can handle only hundred requests per second, but I'm getting thousand requests per second from multiple clients. What will happen? Anyone? In this case, guys, slowness issue will come into picture. So to resolve this issues, we have a technology called our favorite technology LTM. It is called local traffic manager. This is the product which makes sure that even one server goes down the same application CIA nets.com will be hosted on this server, this server, this server. It will make sure that my same application is hosted in multiple server. If when this server goes down, I can still access CR nets.com. That is why there is a huge demand of this product. Now, second thing guys, is slowness issues. If we have four servers for, for same website, some request will go from client here, 
based there is a concept called in load balancer which is called load balancing algo so it make sure that you get all the things ready made you make sure that some request goes here some request goes here one server should not be 100% utilized very very important guys so what are the if someone ask you what are the three advantage of load balancer guys you can i'll just show you that first advantage is scalability downtime that is the second advantage application performance because we have multiple servers so it makes sure that one server goes down second server can utilize your load what is the security in this guys f5 is coming in between f5 has one product called waf which provides you security of this application this is a separate module which is called asm application security manager what does it does is it protects your application from attacks f5 has a technology which covers load balancer also plus security both now it can also increase server capacity reduce bandwidth that are the advantage why i want to use f5 load balancer in my company guys and the next diagram which i am showing you will give you an idea when we don't have load balancer what was there and when we have this before the servers what will happen first thing is security that is main thing by default f5 is a denied device until you configure virtual server so virtual server is nothing but url of your website if i want to publish cn it's dot com on f5 i will create one url virtual server ssl offloading there will be a dedicated f5 ssl engine hardware in ssl which can process encryption and decryption so that it can relieve your load from servers guys that is the second advantage of load balancer what does ssl offloading means anyone so i will show you i have a client my traffic is going via firewall to the server what does ssl means guys why my traffic should be ssl anyone because if i transfer data from client to server it should be purely encrypted every minute is very critical guys so you need to understand carefully but does server has a good capability to handle all encryption and decryption does it have separate ssl engine i need to make sure that my application is 24 into 7 available first thing i need to make sure that my application has security second thing third thing is slowness issues should not be there that are the th three demands of a customer so how you can provide that because server cannot handle the load server does not have a separate engine for cap, cap see i have 100 encryption and decryption and why we need an ssl is 
so that I can access my application on HTTPS. And that is where the term comes SSL of loading favorite interview question. They will ask you a question difference between SSL offloading versus SSL bridging. If I want to test any knowledge now, I have 10 question fix, which I will ask to understand. See, interviewer will first test your knowledge in such a way that they will ask you one practical knowledge question. Theory, every can, can study, but practical knowledge until you get trained from a working professional, you will not be able to get. What is the advantage is we are working professional. So we know what type of questions can be asked and in interview. See, if I have not worked on cloud, I cannot ask, give you what type of questions can be asked. If I have not worked on Palo Alto, I cannot tell you, right? What are the practical questions which will be asked? Now, SSL offloading comes into picture where client traffic will first hit on F5. This website will be hosted on F5. Then it will go to multiple servers. And how it is going is because all encryption and decryption will be done here. And this is all HTTPS traffic, guys. Because F5 is a high hardware performance device which provides this feature, guys. So this question has been asked. Offloading means traffic of servers will get offloaded to F5 so that all encryption and decryption will be done here. Traffic will be encrypted here. Then it will send plain text to the server. After that, this will get plain text and this will get encrypted again. Why we need encrypted connection, guys? Anyone on the chat? Why I need my traffic to be encrypted? Anyone? So that no one can read my data. It should not be in clear text format. That is the main agenda of SSL of loading. That is why there was a thing which I told you security, SSL of loading. Third, third example, intelligent load balancing. What does it mean? Anyone? They are saying that when we don't have servers, when we don't have F5, it does not provide intelligent load balancing. Now, what does intelligent load balancing means? Let's say I have three servers. My website traffic. I have three clients here. Client one, client two, client three. Now, all of this are, ex are doing cnnets.com. They want to access traffic on cnnets.com. So first traffic I will forward to server one. Second request of client two, I will forward to server three. Third request I will forward to server three. But how it is intelligent. Now tell me one thing guys. If this server goes down, will F5 able to come to know that this server goes down? What is the concept behind that? F5 should have some visibility if server goes down, I should make sure that my client one request, which was going to server one should go to server two or server three. So what will happen guys, if I don't have any capability to monitor server one, server two, server three, what will happen? My request from client one is going to server one down server, even if it is down. So what will happen in this case? In this case, guys, you will face slowness issues. Client to some users will say, hey, I'm unable to access website. Some users will say, I'm not able to access F5.
so that is where there is an intelligent load balancing concept comes that is called health monitor health monitor is a feature which make sure that if your server is down your f5 once f5 receives a request from client it should not forward to server 1 it should go to server 2 or server 3 it will make sure that if any server is down your client request should not forward to that server so that is how i will ask the question in an interview and that is how i teach I don't teach in such a way that I only cover theory, but I will make sure that whatever questions are being asked in practically that I should teach and I will make sure that practically experience you get it. Even you are fresher. My main purpose is even you are a fresher, I should make you F5 expert so that you can reach out to me. Hey, sir, due to you, I have cleared the interview. That is the feedback I expect rather than money. I want relationship. So that is third feature of intelligent load balancing high availability we have covered if one server goes down request will go to second server based on load balancing algo better performance means when f5 is designed it has a dedicated engine it has different profile which can enhance l4 to l7 load balancing now, next question to you guys, when I talk about F5, is it layer three device, layer four or layer seven, anyone? If someone answer this, I will provide my interview series free of cost for today. When I talk about F5 load balancer, is it L3, L4 or L7? Quickly guys, Palo Alto is L3, L4 or L7. The same way router is L3, L4, L7. Now I wanted to talk about F5. Is it L3, L4 or L7 device? So let's see the answer. No problem, Tari. You are muted, but I can see your chat. Some people are saying L4, L7. Some are saying L3. Mm -mm. So far, I have not got, got the correct answer. Okay, one of the person has corrected. Very good, Mr. Anket. You can connect me later on for your prize. Patan, excellent. So F5 will work as L3 also. F5 will work as L4 also. F5 will work as L7 also. So it can work as a router, it can work on TCP layer, it can work on HTTP. By default, it is called application load balancer. So that is L7. This question will be asked in an interview, guys. Now, some people will say, initially, what is the setup when you don't have F5? So this is how. Client is directly forwarding traffic to servers. There is no way of monitoring this server that is down or up. No load balancing technology. But when load balancer come into picture, it is maintaining high availability, equally distributing the traffic, protecting your application from attacks and support cost. So load balancer is a network device which is distributing your client traffic to multiple servers so that your application is accessible 24 into 7. I want scalability, availability and security. That are the three things which F5 provides. So even you have F5 you have multiple clients. So if I will make sure that some request goes here, some here, some here, some here. Now, some people heard about that F5 is also termed as reverse proxy. Some people will say it is also called load 
well answer so you need to understand why this box is termed as reverse proxy and anyone tell me why this box is called reverse proxy or some people will say full proxy so we'll talk about this because full proxy means your f5 is coming between client to f5 there will be one tcp session between client to f5 sin synac and acknowledgement and one session will be tcp from f5 to the server so that is what full proxy architecture means you will have separate three way handshake so there will be a separate client connection and that is why when i log in into f5 some people will say client some people will say this connection is server because it is making two way connection and the facilities it provides performance security load balance and availability and this is how the pictorial representation of operating system this is called traffic management operating system you have two sessions so f5 has capability to review this and this is server connection because your main application is hosted on server side and this is tmos operating system it is divided into two plane management plane and data plane this is called data plane this is called management plane even if your management plane has some issues still your traffic will not get affected even your all applications are down data plane is down still you will able to access gui so that is where this is called f5 architecture where you have dedicated operating system for hardware management plane and hardware data plane now can you see here this is called full proxy and it has a special ssl and compression engine for processing your traffic faster and there are different modules all your gui traffic cli traffic tms traffic will go via management plane and how it is also called f5 as adc adc mean application delivery controller now next question which interview ask or in a training i will tell you is i will ask hey vidit can you tell me when you your new device comes into you let's say a new f5 comes to you and it is in data center what is the first thing you do to test your practical knowledge let's say you have got a new device for customer atnt which you need to configure it's in your data center now you need to configure this what is the first duty so i will be covering design part and implementation so first task is you should get rack mounted you should ask your data center engineer to give you console of this device so that you can get management connectivity management it of this device that is the first thing your answer should be you should make sure that your f5 is accessible 
over your network so that next things you can configure accordingly and how the traffic flows very very important client will send us this is the virtual ip so in f5 there is a concept of vip there is a concept of pool member what is the difference between virtual server and pool member virtual server is the main front end ip address which client will hit whenever you launch any website behind load balancer it will get dns resolution to one ip let's say 1.1.1 and that 1.1 is called your vip ip in f5 traffic of client will always hit this ip either this is 80 or this is 443 until this session is successful f5 will not able to select the servers because first this three way handshake should be completed Once this three way handshake is complete, there will be an HTTP get packet. So, HTTP get packet will make sure that request comes here, then it will choose your server. So, this is called backend connection, and this is called front end connection. See. Once it is successful, there will be a separate server connection. So if you understand this, 5% of F5 you will get. That is why it is called full proxy architecture, guys. Third interview question or in demo I'm covering is how an F5 hardware looks like. If I want to test someone knowledge, na, I will ask what are the ports available in your F5? Can you tell me when you configure F5, on which port you will connect your console cable? What are the different ports available in your F5 model? Let's say I have I series 2800. What are the ports available on your load balancer? So there is one port which is called management port. So initially, your data center engineer will plug a laptop on your console cable and give you a management IP connection. Once you get it, you can configure management IP through management port. So that is how these ports are. Now, what is this failover port? Anyone? You have done Palo Alto. Many people have done this. Why this failover cable is necessary? This comes into picture when you deploy F5 in high availability. We have an USB port. Let's say when you are upgrading our F5 device and in between it's stuck. So to boot your image from USB, you install into USB port. And these are your data ports. This is your 10 gig port and these are your 1 gig port. And this is one separate LCD where it will give you whether your F5 is working active. If green, F5 is working active. If it is blue or orange, there is some issues. Now, this is the one question which I asked in an interview. Like if you want to implement any F5 device from scratch, whether LTM or GTM or ASM, what are the three steps? So these are nine steps, but first we need to get management IP. Okay. Once you get management IP, how your F5 looks like, I will show you quickly. So when I go log in into this box, so I have given a management IP, which is called 192.168.137.60. So this is when you get an initial access. A default username and password will be 
admin admin so i will log in let's say you get in management access what is the first thing you need to do once you get a management ip access second important thing is license this is the second thing you need to be taking care license means before without license f5 will not able to work you cannot do any configuration related to network or load balancing it is a blank device So that is the second thing and how you can get the license guys. I will tell you, you can try at your home. Just go to Google, just type F5 30 days license product trial. So when you click here, you just need to select here this option, big IP virtual edition and big IP centralized management virtual edition, get a free trial. Now you can register. If you are a new user, you can register using this. Now you need to make your account. If you already have an account, I will click on back to sign in. I will try to access this from my email ID. I will enter username and password and I will log in. Now, it will ask me for two-way authentication, I will say. or you can mention email authentication so you will get an email authentication so that is how you can get a license in your email id so it will give me details so i'm just entering that code which i got it so i'll enter six three two four double six Now I will finish because they have nowadays added two-way authentication because many fake people were coming into picture. So see here you can enter trials option. Just click on trials. Once you log in successfully, there will be trial offer. And here you can see pending approval. Maybe I've not shared any details or may have enabled. So you just need to select start free trial. And here you need to select no. You need to select this option. I'm selecting big IP next. That is a new feature they have introduced. I'm, for you, you need to try this license, guys. So it will get in your email ID and here also. Make sure that you fill your company details, original company details correctly, where you're working, because you will get license. You need to make sure your PIN code is correct and your address of your company is correct. Sometimes people say, I don't got license one month because you are filling some wrong information. Now, once you get a license, guys, you will license the box. So where we are, I was showing you here. Once you get the license, now the third feature comes is to provision. 
whether you want to use F5 only as a load balancer or you want to use as a DNS that is called GTM intelligent DNS resolution or you want to use as a PAF application security manager. So how we can check that just go here into license part. Just go to tab system resource provisioning. Here you can select. So right now this box I'm using as ASM. If I want to use LTM also, can you see there are two things, provisioning and license. If you buy the license, it should show you license. Then you have to provision that to use it because every module, see these modules are part of your big IP product. They use your dedicated CPU and RAM. So that is why you need to be very, very careful when you ask your customer whether they want to use only LTM, then you need to ask for LTM license. If customer says, I want to use LTM and ESM and not sure, maybe in future I will use GTM. In that case, you need to ask F5 accordingly. So once this is resource provisioning, then you can select host name of your device and other things. Then final case comes is your network configuration, NTP and HA. So this is how when someone asks you how you implement F5 from scratch. When I talk about network part, we will configure VLAN interfaces and self IPs. Now, one of the last topic for today is what is nodes, what are pools and what are pool members and what is virtual server. So guys, node is an IP address of your original server, which you are hosting your application. Pool member is your server might be listening on 80 port or for three, maybe SSH. And your virtual server is, which is your website IP address or website FQDN. So how it looks like you have a client, you have a router, you have F5, you have three servers, server one, server two, server three. These are the three servers IP address where your application is hosted. Pool member will be IP address of your node with port number, right? Because your server, let's say if it's an HTTP application, it will be hosted on HTTP. Now, pool, pool is a combination of this pool member. All three pools members are called your pool. And if I talk about virtual server, how the traffic flows, client will first hit your virtual server. Then F5 will make one session based on load balancing algo. Let's say load balancing algo is round robin. So it will select this and it will make one TCP handshake. So that is traffic flow.